Hey, my name is Natasha, you're watching Something About Movies, and this is my review for Monte Carlo. So Monte Carlo stars Selena Gomez, Leighton Meester, and Katie Cassidy, and it's about a girl named Grace, played by Selena Gomez, who has just graduated from high school and is going on a trip to Paris with her best friend and her stepsister. And she's been dreaming about this trip her whole life, but when she gets there, it doesn't turn out as she had planned it. But then, Grace is mistaken for a bratty, bitchy heiress who happens to look just like her, and she ends up impersonating her so her and her two friends can pretty much uh, get the trip that they had dreamed of. So when I first saw the trailer, I thought it was going to turn out to be really materialistic and superficial, and I'm okay with that. I like movies like that as long as they're, you know, upbeat and kind of optimistic. But I was actually really surprised at how grounded and relatable Monte Carlo was. It wasn't just about these girls going on a joyride and wearing expensive clothes and doing expensive things. I mean, yeah, that was part of it, but it wasn't really the focus. The character development was pretty well done. You got a sense of who Grace, Emma, and Meg were early on, so that over the course of the movie you could really see them grow as characters. The pacing was well done. It slowed down at parts, but it picked right back up so the movie didn't drag on. My biggest issue in the movie was this one particular scene between Meg and her Australian love interest, and I really can't tell you what they were talking about because I was too distracted. There were also a couple of kind of cheesy and even a bit forced one-liners, but other than that, I thought this movie was really, really enjoyable, and I thought the soundtrack was really well done. It really brought out the charm of the French setting. So I'm going to give Monte Carlo a 3.5 out of 4 stars for being funny, relatable, charming, and just having a really good message. I think it's the best movie of its genre that I've seen in a while. 